said here. I perceived in the, the work that I've been doing in this area and the people that have come for the conference years ago that I would be part of what we call the gathering or the coming together. Our history and our prophecies through those histories, both oral and in a book, the book, is very, how do you say? It's all encompassing. It can either be scary or it can be very re revealing and full of happiness and joy. I'm going to um, allow Margaret to sit down. She has a little bit of problem. We've been, <coughs> we've been saying riding horses. Our white knight in armor has a white horse truck. <laughs> That's this high and get into us old ladies have a, we're up and down into it. <laughs> So we exercise our, our legs. But back to the subject. I'm reaching beyond myself to see what it is I need to share. I had the impression that I may be speaking to a group, and it seems like this is the group. My beautiful sister here has opened up the way. I want you to know that our prayers from our Native people have come together. And yes, we have regathered. If you have been involved and watched the real news, the ones about the gathering at the water edge, it was not a protest. It was a woman's Native American, or I should say, when I say Native Americans, I'm talking about three groups, the Polynesian groups, the, the Natives from South America, and then the tribes of North America. I'm not Navajo first, but that's my, my tribe I come through. My real tribe is Ephraim, and we have Manassas. So it's my duty to bear, in a sense, testimony or pass the word out to you. So open up your hearts, because that's where the spirit is, and that's where I'm seeing your light. Some of you are very, very important. You're going to be acting with angels. You're going to have incredible lives and you're going to find others to do so. In finding others, I'm instructed to tell you, find a Native American woman, because they will give you in depth about birthing. I had eight children, I lost one. I have seven now. I am now a great grandmother this morning at four o'clock. <laughs> So I've been, so exciting. I'm known as Grandma Hummingbird. Some of you recognize me from camps. I was there because I was concerned about children. I have always been concerned about children. I've had to refocus because I'm known and because of my gift, I suffered from not only my own self and my family, but others that were abused <coughs> in every what manner you can think of. And so I've had to refocus, make sure that my life and my work through hummingbird that goes from flower to flower with the nectar and share it. My job is to teach you that you cannot receive the blessing and the witness because you're going to witness some very powerful things in what you're going to be doing. Some of you are dreamers. Some have wished they could have knowledge of what's going to happen. Oh. I was just told to remind you that the dreams are for your personal information. The horribleness of it, you can change. There's possible future and the probable future. The possible future is that you make it very positive. Stay away and feel it because you're going to be the ones that are going to help people that are in, in panic. And some of them are going to bring life into the world. There's wonderful, wonderful things in life to learn. And our people have been silent with the real truth except through the book. 
they want to see how honest and true you are. So when you speak and work, make sure you work with this from the heart. That's your avenue for those angels. They will help, help you know what to do, how to do it. And even if you don't have the world's medicine, you have the natural medicine. And you will discover at the moment dif different ways to use that. My people can help you. That's why I say try to find you somebody. Try to learn as much as you can the natural way because we're going to go down to sometimes nothing. And it's even if you don't have it, there's powerful enough in you women with the male counterparts that have the power to be able to hold on to life. In my life, I don't know if I'm going to go through <coughs> calamities. If I'm right, good enough for doing my work, I will find a way to, but it doesn't matter. Death is a part of life. When I lost my baby, miscarriage at about six months, he was very special to me. <clears throat> he was given a special name I didn't even get to see whether it was a boy or girl I miscarried. But I know every life is precious. You will experience when you're birthing a reminder a little bit more of your coming through the birth canal or your own, what's it called? You're talking about it come through the tongue. Passage. It's called specifically. Vagina. Vagina. No, no, it's called. Birth. Canal. Yeah, one of you going to learn how to go through. What was it called? Birth canal. No. Oh, oh, the portal. Portals. Oh, mm -hmm. portal. Yeah, we portal. had the talk. We had the talk yesterday about that. I'm asking if I could share you. Share this for you. Keep it to yourself. In this room. Your first portal was your biblical portal. I, the first time I ever said this anything. Or this is a something very sacred that should be done in the holy house. But I said, let them know. Keep it within yourself. Then use that as you become a leader. You find those native people, and some of them will not know because our people have lost an awful lot of that. They, unfortunately, reach out to the world, and they're caught up in all that's out there. But they are holy people, and my grandmother was one of them. She struggled so hard, and she's taught me so much. So if you can um, be ready to try, start changing your concept, not like the world looks at it, but the way life and like truth really is, you will find your experience on discovering how to bring life into this world. When I lost my little one, I was able to let go because I'm so sensitive. It used to be, in fact, I don't have any teeth because I grind them at night. I knew I could hear babies crying for help all over. They come on the waves like they want so badly to endure. Thousands of little ones have gone to the other side. It's okay. However they went, it will all be justified some way or another. But those that you're going to bring through, you're going to lose some, you're going to have some. Just do it with joy, with blessing, with prayer. And don't take it personal. There are things that you're going to discover about yourself that's very more important than what you're going to learn on the outside. Because if you know yourself and you're in line with up there, you will find the way to do what you're called to do. Mm -hmm. I see a few of you very, very strong and very spiritual. So add when you can by the Spirit. And watch out for those that come with wrong feelings. <coughs> Bless them, but they will find that they won't endure this group. This is, a, I didn't know I was going to run in such a phenomenal spiritual group. I see deep within you. And some of you, it seems like if I have a chance, I will know you. Okay. Um, 
Let's see if there's anything else I need to. We will go on. We're going to go in the Holy House. We're going to think of this group. We're going to be finding some other groups. My column under Hummingbird is Grandma Hummingbird was first working with the children. I wanted to see if the modern day non-Indian children could, how fast they could grasp the spiritual side. I wanted to take them out of the world real quick under the teachings of the parents to see if they can quickly come into the change that's taking place. Oh, they were so good. They are so incredible. Your chil the children that are bo being born are so incredible. Don't underestimate them. They'll become with knowledge that you, that will, fa you know, they will fascinate you. Look to who's delivering and share it with them. But these children, you need to know which is, is called to be here through this. Uh, let's see what else. Can you think of anything else? You'll say something. She'll say something for me. She's my companion this work. I leave my husband um, who's taking care of family down there, my newborn grandson, great grandson. There we go. I have to get Does he have a name? <laughs> yes, but I can't remember it right now. <laughs> it, it's like any other name. You might be given a name, but there's other names that are associated with him. Some of them are very spiritual, so I, don't, I, I haven't seen him yet. So okay. he wasn't said, this is who I am, Grandma. Yes. My grandma. It's a little deep. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want you to know, we come with love, and we'll keep you in our mind as you go and do <coughs> all that you need to. Um, don't be afraid to that you can't get it all because you're going to adjust those anyway. Just let your heart pick up what you can. I know I try to write real fast. It's the only language I know except the spiritual language, which is partly music. Um, in fact, it's all music when you think of it. But I tried to write and I got lost in it. The, I was <laughs> told, leave it be, absorb it, because you eternalize the truth if you pray that and open your heart to that. So pick, pick things and then your memory come back as you keep going along the way. Some of you are way up here knowledgeable. Some of you are just starting. You're just barely scratching uh, the surface. I feel some questions. Let me just take a few questions. And don't be afraid to ask me anything. Yes, you got to ask me. I have about three of you that want to ask me. Over here, sister. To go first. Okay. Yes. Um, do you know of anyone uh, like you over in the Boise area, over in that area? Like um, you said, get to know Native Americans. Are you oh, that's there? for you to find. That's for me to find. It's okay. like your a counterpart. Okay. Because let me tell you, we're on a journey. <clears throat> we're going to have to go together. Native Americans on this land that was preserved here, because we all, our men folks have already fulfilled one great uh, prophecy of saving America. Men folks, do you know which one? I, I'm glad I see you here. Do you know what I'm talking about? Doing World War II? Women's are going, yes. Do you know what, what it was? The Code Talkers. Oh, yes. I see. Remember? Yes, yes. That's fulfillment. Okay, now we had a fulfillment. I was telling you to uh, be observed and look at the real world, real news. The coming together of the woman on the, uh, they said it was a protest, it wasn't. That's petition, petitioning from the Native American women for peace and the change to come about and that men folks would get it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> that they would come and help them preserve families. In our teaching, there's four groups of people, red, yellow, white, and black. I have never been Indian first. We sang, I am a child of God. I don't see you any different. I look in the mirror and I'm very shocked every time I see a black lady, I mean black lady, a brown lady looking at me. But I want you to know, in this circle of life, we have to help each other. Okay, one more, okay, I've lost the thought. 
I have so much I want to tell you, but I can't. <laughs> but you will find out, you see. Um, we have our counterpart. You're talking about that we have to find our own yes. counterpart and that there's all these colors in the circle. Okay. You women, we have been given the natural talents. Some of it have abundance that I just got through telling some of my sisters to simplify, come to you, specialize, and allow others because we're um, a creator integrated or put us together like this, linked us together so that we don't over overshadow each other. So you use that kindness in what you're doing because it allows you two to interact with the angels. Okay, and then again, you must know you can overstep being too powerful and take the man's blessings. I have been very, very impressed about the wonderful talents of men. And you need to work right alongside of them. Okay, another question. I saw some hands go up. Don't be afraid, second one. Two more, I won't go tell you. Where do you live? I'm in Provo, Utah. Okay. Have you given any classes in that area? I'm sorry? Um, no, what I've, uh, actually I've been a teacher all my life. I'm the, I'm co-author of uh, Go My Son. I'm a singer, composer, also actress. You wrote that music? Yes, I co-wrote co that. But I've been always working with all the tribes, so you don't see me. I was going into music, and I've got Grammy Award and Emmy Award, but I stepped back because this is more powerful and more assuring blessing to, I don't have a career, it's my, my calling. And so I'm told to go from one group to another. I link you, I link groups. Okay. So I watched you at the camp. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm learning how to do that. One of the dance we did, you know, with the children's paint the rainbow, that's using visual music rhythm. And uh, all this is using putting your, why did it come, chakra? In order. All of that is symbolic. It linking your physical with your spiritual. If you can always remember that. But the spirit's the one that wants to be the strongest. Influence the spiritual as as strong as you can and let the physical rely on it because you're going to bring children to the world in a, in a real quick change. So you have to have a mind pattern on how it's going to be, however you envision it. And you can get help from the other side to envision how it's going to be. I was able to do that years ago, and I did it through nature. And that's what um, we can do with children. They, they come into the world before they pick up all these habits. So you're going to have them when you're birthing them very pure. So your prayer and your expression to that baby and the mother, because you have that connection, you're helping strengthen them. They're going to be full of fear if they're going to have to be on the run and having contractions. Just calm them. If you're calm and you know who you are and you're connected with the angels, you will have so much wonderful ways to serve. And you'll come through even in safety. I mean, you can deliver when bombs are dropping and such. Who knows, that was prophesied, and even with the Indians, that things were gonna come real bad. Who knows, you'll be without instruments and such, but you'll, you'll be impressed to use this certain thing instead of that. You'll maybe even, who's pioneers? You're all pioneers? <laughs> Listen to the stories on how they did it. Well, you're going to do the same thing. We'd do it, too. We're trying to hold on. The Native Americans are trying to hold on to the natural living. Not survival. It's not a survival living. We're not going to survive like that. We're going to have wilderness living. We're going to go down to the basics. That's the pure beauty 
of coming through the chaos, the dark ages, I called. By the time we wrote our history, until we got it back again, that was our dark ages. We fell to our knees. That's why we <coughs> try to resist. You know, technology is wonderful. That's okay to use it. Food's wonderful. But there's time and place. I can say that? Okay. That's how I say it. <laughs> there's time and place you're going to learn how to go back to your own computer, which is you, mm -hmm. your best computer in line. I practice that still because I'm trying to learn. I'm told to learn computer and technology, but know the source where it comes, the true one. Um, it's incredible. Instead of having your phone, it's prayer. Instead of having to go and type out and things, look, you, it's prayer still. It's opening up and you have vision. This imagery is real powerful if you can make that. And in fact, if you have vision by birthing a, a baby, you will know how to usher it in because you will be told, you will see it in your mind. And it's okay. And the men folks need to know that we're doing this. They need to have, be comfortable to know that the woman is not going to challenge them in their leadership. Why should we? We're always already creating in our own little world. What a privilege. The men don't be able to feel that except for women. You have to have that love open to them so they can be a part of that. Don't shun your men away. And if it's not a husband or somebody, it's a brother, father, even the, someone who has the power to see that, witness that, because it's all beautiful. Um, I, I still feel half of one question. <laughs> that makes a three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Please say it so. Okay, thank you. What is the gathering? Can you talk the gathering? <clears throat> like minded people, you can say it that. It's not. Okay, let me ask this question. How many are LDS? Okay, I, I should do this. Don't be ashamed <clears throat> or anything. It's nothing against you who's not LDS. Okay. This is one. All right. LDS group. <laughs> I have a, a little bit that's having a little bit of trouble, but that's okay. Um, you can talk to me afterwards because I, I, you have, if you are not sure what I'm talking about, come tell me because there's two of you that need to talk to me. You know who you are. You don't have to, but if you want to. But I want you to know, we're, we're talking about all our brothers and sisters in the world. There are some out there that are so <coughs> gifted, they follow a creator. We know that. As Native Americans, we know that. We, uh, there are some of the holy people have been dispersed out into the world. And you have our book. You have the blueprint on how to come through this chaos. Try to not focus on all that. Just do what you were told to do with your talent and gifts. And I promise you, I have seen the day where we come through this together. And I come with great love and appreciation because it was your ancestors that brought the book to us. And we're halfway in the journey. We're going to go back and we're going to gather people like-minded who have the light. And that light is going to shield us from anything from H-bomb, where they call those bombs, I don't care what they call them. I don't care how men think they're so big and strong and they're going to wipe us out. The greatest, yeah, I don't call it a weapon, the greatest strength you have is love. That love will take you everywhere and protect you. And so what you die? We don't end there. We're going to know each other for a long time. So I hope wherever I meet you, here or the other, wherever, say, I know you. And I'll try to keep up with you because I've already talked to thousands. I have my testimony. And, and those of that, you who know <coughs> the only album I put out, um, non-commercial, is um, In Circle Tape. That's my legacy, that's my testimony. That's about the Book of Mormon. That's about me coming to my own chaos. I have already stepped out of the world. That's within Mormons, we call it call out. I've already done that. 
My mountains is a temple, and we're heading there now. And we'll take your spirit with us, and we'll go and present to the Creator, our Savior, and the heavens. Somebody's, it's really interesting. I just really getting some real good vibes from you. I just want you to know, heaven knows you, every one of you personally. And somebody who's here with a little bit of doubt and a little bit of fear, a little bit of hurt, you're okay. You've got talent. Every one of you, see it. I've been blessed to feel auras, not see it. I used to see it, but I don't see it all the time. I don't have to. It comes by the whispering. And even if you don't like me, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> so I need my blessing. We love you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.